Super Okay, uh, the, the first um, thing on our agenda is approval of, of, of minutes from my, the March 14th meeting. I'll entertain a motion to approve them. So moved. Thank you, Tia. Sue? Second. Second, since you're the only two, Connie and I can't vote. All in favor? Aye. Thank you. The next thing on our agenda is review and consideration of the iron hole sculpture. Yes, ma'am. I'll just read it. Um, right now, we're making our way through our um, opening document. Yes, ma'am. Okay. 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 Megan, I'll open up the uh, floor for you to give us what you have learned since we first heard of this um, consideration. Um, I gave my call yep, two days ago. Um, just for some background, and the town is accept accepting the sculpture. It's just a question of where it goes. Um, the first thought was the library because you've made donations to us in the past and we've accepted those donations. Uh, as to who's paying for everything, it's not made clear. So those are the questions that the, it so decided the executive committee would bring back to him if we had. Um, Sue had a little bit of background information as well that she had gathered um, on the estate. Yeah, the estate. The main house has been sold two years ago, mm -hmm. and then they got five acres with their stuff, and then Sherry Holmberg has the other part of the property, and they have it four and a half acres. So we're not really sure where these are located, but the Arnhold family does not live there. The rest of the property was donated to the state. The whole the whole property? No, no, for the sure. remaining. The so remaining leftover property. Yeah. From that nine and a half acres. So nine and a half. So that, that four acre or whatever it is. Well, they have a hundred acres there. So okay. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, I'm pretty and, sure it's about a hundred. And acres. nothing else went to the town of Bevel except these two sculptures that we know of. Ago. That that I know of. <clears throat> All right. Well. I don't know how the rest of you feel. I think we can throw it around a little bit, but I walked around outside before I came in and I really cannot find a spot on our property that would be conducive for these sculptures that would not hinder our plans for the spring and for the uh, future projects that we want to do. Um, my concern is more maintenance. If we're putting in, we're, we're going to be putting in interactive displays around mm -hmm. these slabs which encourage touching and using. So then to insert into that another piece of artwork that can't be touched is going to be very confusing for uh, people utilizing the property. So I do have concerns about having it mixed in with our project. Well, it seems like you're growing more and more people interested in using that outside. Yeah. And so why should we limit ourselves in terms of space? Yeah. Well, the, the thing I'm most concerned about, well, I, I agree with all of that. Yeah. But I'm with you because um, the maintenance has always been an issue with different things that get donated to us. I'm I'm concerned that we have we're going to wind we if we accepted the donation, we would wind up with something where we had to maintain it. And if you look at the one sculpture that was painted red, it said uh, "poor paint" yeah. and um, having. Uh, knowing what issues we have with the one sculpture that we have, both with kids touching it, trying to go inside it, it getting dirty, it needs to be cleaned on a regular basis, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I, I, I'm concerned about that. Plus, I do think, as Mary said, it limits um, our possibilities. And um, it's not like we have a sculpture garden here. It would be very different if we did. Um, and the sculpture that we had let in in the past was on a very limited uh, time uh, and then temporary yeah. And we were not responsible for any of the expenses associated with it. I'm just concerned that we 
in addition to it limiting our opportunities and our ability to do different things, it also could be quite a large risk for us to, to undertake it. Also on that low one, I can see kids climbing through that. <laughs> so because we have this project already established that we want to keep going with, we don't know where these would fit in to that project already. Yeah, uh, but but more importantly, the, the, that's one project. We may make a decision to do something very different in the future, and that accepting those sculptures really limits us because they've got to be big and heavy. Mm -hmm. um, so even if we wanted to have them or whatever, um, to move them from one place to another to accommodate other aspects of what our plan might be could be very, very expensive. And I don't really see that that's something that we would want to undertake. Um, and I think the other thing is, I think the municipal, other places in town pro may have better opportunity to uh, care and maintain them. Yeah. Because I, I, the monies that we get are really for our library operation. It is not It is not for maintenance of the property or anything else of that sort. And I think to ask the town to maintain that on our property could be an issue for us to try to get, you know, a share of interest and, and time and, and resource. So. I think we're... We're all on the same page then. I think mm -hmm. we, we are appreciative that they have offered it to us, but um, feel that it would be better utilized on other town property. Uh, so do we need to make a uh, motion? Yeah, motion to not accept. Motion to decline. To decline. To decline. So I make a motion to decline the gift in kind and suggest that we, the library board would support the town's endeavor to use it somewhere else. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think that's good. A second? Sure, I'll second it. Thank you, Tia. Are all in favor? Aye. Any more comments or? No, it's too right. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all those in, in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, so carried. Uh, Megan, we will get the get correspondence yes. off to the selectmen mm -hmm. um, and also to our board. Okay. Mm -hmm. A motion to adjourn? I do. Tanya, okay. second. She's got her hand up. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. I was busy writing. All in favor? Aye. 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 245.